All right. Here with Steve Martinez, who will be fighting this Saturday against Terrell Gachet. Now, let's talk about that fight because he's a decorated amateur. You had an impressive amateur career. What are your thoughts on the fight and the opponent? My thoughts on this fight? Thoughts on, he's, he's, a, he's a good decorated fighter, you know. He's an Olympic 2012 Olympian, you know. There's no easy way to get there, so, you know, you, you got to go fight. You got to go fight through obstacles and fight through different fights. But you know, I, I, I'm coming to win, man. I'm hungry. I've been training all summer. You're going to see a different Steve on Spike TV Saturday, come Saturday. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Your record is 15-2, and two, correct? 16 and 2. Now, those two losses, one of them is against Chris Pearson, and you had another fight against another fighter who was a prospect. You keep taking these tough, tough fights, really wanting to prove to the world that there's no easy way to getting to the top. You want to prove to the boxing world that you got to fight the best to be the best. Exactly, exactly. There's no easy way out. You can't be fighting taxi cab drivers and and, and, and drunks from the street, you know, to, to be great. So you got to fight the, you know, the, was the competition to make it, you know, to, to fight the best. And when you get there, the competition is going to be high. So, you know, you got to gotta be there, you know. Why you as a fighter have been able to or willing to fight the tougher competition? You got fighters that are well protected and never really see the light of day of fighting like a champion or a contender or fighting a top 10 guy until they are 25 and 0, 30 and 0. However, you started doing this very young and very early in your career. I'm just hungry, man. I just you know, since little, man. I just you know, I got like a chip in my shoulder. So you know, I'm just trying to show that I'm one of the best. You know, and, and since little, I've been hungry, and I'm trying to prove all the doubt. You know, everybody that doubts me, everybody, all the negativity. So you know, I just, just stay hungry and just you know move forward. And that's all. So you're able to harness all that positive energy and use that towards uh, your advantage. So push me, you know, the the, the fight to go jump in you know it's just a number and it's just you know that age but you know you, just, you won't be the best you gotta fight the best what are some of the strengths and weaknesses you see in your opponent um he's a good boxer he's a good boxer but once he faced me is let's see you know because i don't think he had faced my 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 my, 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 my potential you know with my my quality as a fighter so He's 18 and 0, but I don't think he's 18 and 0. He faced Steven Martinez, so we're gonna see Saturday what he comes up with. But there's no way, you know, Steven Martinez gonna come on top regardless. My last question: You have uh, Canelo Alvarez taking on Leon Smith. Is that a type of fight that you want in your future? Oh no, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. That's my weight, definitely, definitely fight Canelo. My age, young guy that you see, he was like 40 and 0 to like fucking. 22, 21 years old, right. you know, um, yeah, definitely, 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 the winner out of that. I edge Canelo, I edge Canelo, yeah, he, he fought, he fought a better competition, you know, and Ian Smith, he's probably more greener, but, you know, he, he could fight too. And, you know, let's talk about the 154-pound division. You got fighters like J-Rock. You got the Charlo brothers. Uh, you got Laura, um, Laura in that division. What are some of the guys that you want? At 154. Tell you the truth, um, they call me the hitman, you know. So they all in my hit list, you know. I want, I want everyone. So I just got, I just, exactly. I just got, you know, just got scratch them out every time when I beat them. You feel me? But you know, it's competition. You know, any division is tough. You're not gonna be fighting no bums when you get there. So I'm ready for everybody, you know. And the hitman, did we get that from uh, the great Tommy Hearns? Yeah, you could say so. He's be a guy I look up to, you know. And are we comfortably making 154? Because you're comfortably, that. comfortably, yeah, comfortably. Since it's young, I've been doing this, you know. I'm disciplined with my with my weight, so I'm hungry, man. <laughs> One of my final questions for some of the fight fans out there, because I'm also interviewing for uh, for the UK fight fans. Uh, talk to us about your amateur background. How many fights did we have and your style? Um, I had about 117 amateur fights. About out of 117, I had like about a good 87, 90 wins. Um, I was a three-time Golden Glove champion in New York. I won um, the National Golden Gloves, and I was the outstanding fighter that year for the tournament 2008. And I turned pro at 19, you know. And and the journey started since then, you know. Had a couple of setbacks, but we're here. We're on Spike TV Saturday, the 27th. And what's your style like? Um, I'm aggressive, you know. I'm a pressure fighter. 
You gonna see you gonna see an explosive fighter come Saturday. A hungry explosive fighter come Saturday, the twenty seventh. Looking forward to it, my man. You All got right. it. We'll All see right, you man. Saturday night. Thank you. Yes.